Oh man, here we go. Welcome to another episode. I just got done moving. Um, so audio might sound a little different. I don't have my plants in here to help dampen feedback noise and stuff. Anyway, hope you guys are doing wonderful. There shouldn't be any uh, delay in the videos because I did a bunch of recording and a bunch of editing. So yeah, anyway, I have no idea where we are anymore. Uh, so let's just dive in and figure it out. No one's really said they didn't want to see any of the side quests or that they want to see any of them, so I'm just going to leave some in, leave some out. We'll cut out the boring ones. Actually, this is a side quest that I wanted to do for a while. Um, it's Serona's, and I think we'll just kind of do this real quick because I got it a while ago, and I just, I like that character, so I think that's one that we'll want to do. And then after that, we'll do these talking ones, and then maybe talking um, to Professor Fig in the map chamber. Those are kind of our plans for the day. Might not be in that order. We will see. Uh, yeah. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Yes, we did. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aiden the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, sounds easy enough. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. Oh, little fetch You'll quest. Find a hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. I don't want to go on foot, see if we can find anything cool. Yeah, we'll go on foot this time. I really do just like... What's going on here? What is, why is there like Halloween stuff out right here? Weird. Look at that big old tree. I guess I could see if there's anything else around this. There probably is. Revelio. Maybe not, I don't know. A big tree, man. Some balloon trials up over there. You can fly. Yeah. I like that it puts on like uh Rebellion. fancy music. Oh my god, I love that you can just kind of see everything. What is this? Like some sort of a bandit camp thing. Oh, quail guys. This is why I like traveling on foot. Revelio. There's something here. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. It looks like we have to go in. In we go. There's just so much to do in this game. I'll probably only leave in 
a few of the little side things that I do every now and again. There we go. I figured it was something in here like that. Break Revelio. that break that down. One. Keep an eye out just in case there's any other ones. I don't know what that does, but it's down now. Can I just fall off, bro? Just fall off. Yeah, there we go. It's like, just fall, bro. That wasn't so difficult. Easy, man. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. They definitely are everywhere, aren't they? Uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye out. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigamel potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Uh, all right, sweet. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. I already gave it. you the hawk clumps, though. What are you talking about, lady? Should investigate. Oh, we have a um a nighttime thing over there. I'll have to check this out real quick. Astronomy place spot. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Uh
Yo, it's a lion. Levioso. Confringo. Accio. Arrest on momentum. We need to get these level 3 locks unlocked already. As we're going off to this cave forest place up here. Levioso! Akio! These rocks have seen better. Revelio. Didn't I just come from this way? Bro. I think it wants me to actually go up this way. Hogwarts looks pretty cool. surprise Good bring Not so tricky after all Merlin to that there cave. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Hmm. Hmm. Now that's an interesting sight there. And I feel about that. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. They teach 
Levioso, Akio. Try that again. Kunfringo. Get up, the little puffskin. Show yourself. Expelliarm. Coward. Defender. Protego. Nothing. Nothing more than luck. <laughs> Nothing more than luck. Boom, dude, get done. Your poaching days are over. Revelio. I don't like the way this uh, cave looks. Orc lump hollow, eh? All right. Still need to visit the cave to find Sarona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm there. Better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. The fishies at a little pond. It looks like there's. Confringo. Okay, I was like, it looks like there's something over there. And there was. Glad I looked. Lumos. Oh, I see. Confringo. Need to go and un get these items identified. Is he tasty? What the hell is this place? This looks like a freaking like little prison or something. This is weird, man. What the hell? Looks like we can go down there if we wanted to. Confringo. I was homie here. White the cave. Way down. I'll have to fight that troll. Or we together. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Defender! Glacius! Defender! Dodged it. Expelliarmus, defend us. Jesus, this guy's messing me up. Place it. 
Oh man. Bro, he's just fucking hits me so much. I hit it. Thank God I have so many of these potions. What? Well, you freaking teleported on me. Get out of here. Okay. Get used to combat again. Either I'll have to fight the control. This guy's level 27. He's a strong boy. I don't troll with its own boulder, huh? How do I do that? It must be this one. Try Yeah. Okay. Couldn't bring up the rest of the momentum. Bro, I swear. Oh, I dodged that. Get out of here. This guy's stronger than hell. Bro, he freaking literally teleports on me. Okay. All right, buddy. Dude, he's literally hitting me no matter what I do. Oh, man. Dude, no. I can't even get to pull so off quick enough, man. Bro. 
I'm gonna try to hit that. This guy's messed up. I think I see how I do it now. There we go. Boom. Jeez. Easy, my large friend. That was one of the harder fights. I was trying to figure out how to throw the boulder back at him. Got some troll bogies. Yeah, this looks like a trapper den or That's something. That's all the comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Also, terrifying place. Revelio. We have something over here. We have a plant. Denny. Alright, in we go. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Confringo. Got a ton of plants in here. Cool little cave. My goodness, that's a ton of it in here. Revelio. There's some sort of a chest up there that I wouldn't mind figuring out how to get. Bunny, what are you doing in here? Okay, I'm like stuck. Up there, I don't know how to get up there. God, this cave looks messed up. If you guys want to read this, feel free to pause the video. That's a long letter. Must be Sorona's box of letters. Revelio. The chest, but it might be. I don't know, it might just be up high. I should I take know. this box of letters to Sorona. Should be glad. I think that's everything. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and. I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> 